Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Maybe like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there like a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> and to date, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Um, polio. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Alex, we're not taking the pic until you get in here. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. 
Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... It'll take three minutes, tops. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's be buddies. Um... Just never mind. I've already made everyone uncomfortable, so... No, it's... You're not making anyone uncomfortable, but... I mean, let's all just go up. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah. Fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts, all right. Yeah, basically, seniors get prom, Sophomores paint that weird statue thing green, and- Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear facts about different stuff by tuning to that station. It's kind of fun. It's like a, a museum tour. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, 102.3. Won't take long, I promise. Really, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Nah, it's all right. I don't have to hear it. Uh, anyways, Jonas, it's like the only time in history an American sub was destroyed in our waters or something like that. Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so they made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, if you had, you'd have heard of the town. But since you haven't, you hadn't. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught?